Hello all my recovering narcoholics. It is Trace Face. I wanted to get this video in tonight before I go out here. Um, I've got a long weekend ahead of me. I had promised a friend of mine to go out tonight for a little bit. Um, have a 16 hour work day. Tomorrow is my crazy day that I work all day on my feet. <laughs> and then I'm working again Sunday night. So, um, so I, I wanted to get this video in. Um, thank you so much to uh, Niles for your contribution to the channel. And uh, um, I'm going to read your, your email here that you gave me permission to. I think this would be really helpful um, to read it. First and foremost, before I answer your question. Dear Trace, I'm hardly making ends meet these days, trying to scrape by in life and rebuild myself from the bottom up after the way I was treated, discarded, and replaced. But I wanted to give you some of what I got in my paycheck this week because you're helping me in ways I don't seem to have received the help before. I tried everything, counseling, prayer, other narcissist coaches online, but it's something about the way in which you deliver the message. It's like you're speaking directly to me. I am full of hurt, resentment, rage, and astonishment over what my ex-narc has done to me. She lied through and through on everything from the very start of the day I met her. I now see that our relationship turned marriage was built on lies and nothing more. She used me for everything I had. She saw someone who was somewhat who was a somewhat established writer and publisher. I had a lot going for me when she met me and she saw that. I spent every dime I had on her to go back to school. She was always ditching this job, that job, being lazy all the time. As soon as she began getting money and finding others out there she deemed better than me, she moved on to friending, being friends with those folks and seeing what it is they could do for her. She was always seeking my replacement, especially when she knew that I had finally ripped off her mask and there was no more room to fool me. I watched myself lose everything over this woman. I'm just beginning to rebuild. And as you, as you said, find my passions again. But it's so beyond frustrating to see that whore. And yes, I use that word as she was always cheating and using her body to get what she wants. Now be with a very established realtor. <laughs> also a narc here in Leeds who they sit online and show off their shiny toys and help he helped her pay to get her doctorate I helped her as much as I possibly could and watched her grow in her personal and financially because because in caps I paid for it and just for her to go and find someone to further her success it's like watching some fiction movie based on aliens from outer space. It's hard to forgive and forget when you see such injustice like this in this world. This doesn't even touch upon the physical beatings and other slave driver wickedness she insisted on in the seven year relationship. If you have any thoughts, feelings, or ideas on how to move on and let this resentment go, I'd be forever indebted to you, your forever friend and fan, Niles from Leeds, UK. <laughs> I'm laughing right now because of the unbelievable similarities. Um, seven year, the seven year itch for you too, huh? Yeah. They can only keep up the charade for so long. And uh, I, first of all, I want to start, this is quite interesting, the tangled webs we weave, right? And how our, I, I mean, I was just having a conversation about this with my client this morning and, and back and forth email exchange about this kind of thing. And I get this email with your very generous donation and, and you really didn't have to do that. I appreciate it so much more than you know. And I'm glad that you're identifying and relating to the things that I talk about on my channel. I first of all want to stress to you and to all of you out there that 
I want, I want to talk about what defines success, okay? I want to talk about that. We live in a world right now that is trying to tell us what success is. And, and that world is all over the place, all over the internet, all over ads, all over social media, all over the television, that it's material things. It's material things. You define establishment by the, 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 the kind of house you live in, the kind of car you drive, the, uh, you know, uh, what you can say and the things you've done for work uh, in terms of, you know, uh, what you have and what you don't have, that's what it's, it's all about. And, uh, and it's not, okay? I'm here to tell you right now, it is not. My father knows some of the wealthiest people on the planet. Multi-millionaires, okay? Has known these people for a long time. And the stories I've been hearing about these families since I was a child would make these movies that you're talking about from the aliens from outer space. Uh, and you want to talk about demonic possession and, and, and crazy things that happen to them and their family. And yes, yes. Narcissists are not interested in, in anything other than what is going to make them seem or appear good. The good, the good person, the, the, the established person online, uh, you know, it's all a facade. It's all relating to these underlying uh, motives that they have, like, like you're seeing how she used you. That's what they do. And unfortunately, it's so sad for people like you and I and all the rest of us out there that didn't know that we were being used to that extent. I relate to this story more than you know. My God. It, it, they do see what it is that they can get out of the person. And, and all their shiny toys, Niles, all their shiny toys mean nothing at the end of the day. And when they're six feet underground, it means absolutely nothing. They still will have no idea how to treat people. They still have no idea what it means to truly be happy. And to me, success is, is, is it's the little things. It's, it's, not only the little things, but success to me is how you treat other people while you're here on this planet. That's all we've got are the connections that we make with others, how we treat the planet, how we treat animals. Did you ever notice how narcissists treat animals? I never talked about this, but it's just, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. You know, they don't have regard or, or respect or normal emotions for other people. It is what that person can do for them. At the end of the day, that's all it is. And so let them have their shiny toys. Let them have their narc selves, their narc one and others. Let them go off and do what it is that they do best. They're both using one another. They're both, uh, you know, thinking that that's gonna make them happy, good. Because you know what? That stuff doesn't make you happy, and I'm sure of it. What makes you happy, I'm sure, is your writing, because you're a great writer. That's what God gave you as a talent, and you're using that, and you're getting back into it. And that's what's positive, and that's what's healthy. Who cares? You could have all the money in the world. You could have all the, the greatest things in the world. That means absolutely nothing at the end of the day. They're still miserable deep down inside. It doesn't matter. The only thing that makes them happy is going online and showing off and putting up the facade that they're this, that, and the other thing to people and trying to fool people to believe that they are this, that, and the other thing. That's what they enjoy. They enjoy getting those things to be able to say, hey, look at me. 
Look at me, I have these things. I'm so wonderful. What she did to you, Niles, she will be responsible for one day, as they all will. Don't ever forget that. But let justice be in my hands, says the Lord. It's, that's up to, to God. We have nothing to do with what's coming in karma. That's in his hands. There's nothing for us to do other than live our best life. And the way to live our best life is not going to be the way that the narc lives their best life. And we know that because we're smarter. We have the ability to look inward. We have the ability to understand what it is that we really want out of life and, and what it is we're really good at. And we, like I was saying in my videos this week, we have that ability also to, to be happy with the little things. It is always, I, you guys know it. It's always the little things that make you so happy. You know, narcissists don't experience that. She was on a conquest to replace you. And it's sad. But you know what? Uh, you are one of the lucky ones because you got out and you have a chance and an opportunity now to turn your entire life around and have your best life. And I know that you will have it just as all of you will, just as I will. You can't have your best life when you have an anchor around you, pulling you down and pulling you down and pulling you down. It's not possible when you have these people in your life. So God has given you another opportunity now and you need to take that opportunity. And you need to just, when you think about her and all the awful and rotten, nasty things that she's done, Think to yourself, no one that comes into that picture with her is going to be any different. No one's going to be treated any differently. Nothing new is going to happen for them. It's going to be the same thing over and over. What goes on behind closed doors, you'd be, in, you, you know, if you were flying the wall, you'd be laughing. You'd be laughing. So let them go through their love bombing stage and their happy horse crap. Uh, that they're they're trying to post online, which is also to get you going. They further enjoy creating more evil. They live off of that evil. It's like they it's like they're just thinking about how they got to just continue to to pay back and get in that power chair and get in that power chair. So even when all is said and done and and you're, you you've left her, she's still thinking about ways she can hurt you because she's evil. If you were living your best life, you wouldn't have to be posting it public on Facebook um, every, every fart you make. <laughs> okay? It's, you just don't need to do that if you were really so happy. Why does the whole world need to see, you know, your shiny toys? And So I hope that this helped you somewhat. I don't wish this kind of abuse on anyone except for maybe narcs. <laughs> but you know, narcs are gonna narc it out until they're under the grave and, uh, and that's just how they operate. That's how they roll in life. So let them roll over onto their next victim and let us roll out with our best life and our best foot forward because that's all we've got. And please keep coming here to the channel. Please keep uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, share the videos, like the videos, comment. That's the best way we're going to get this information out and get others to, to make sure that they can get this information and get the help and support that they need to get through all of this. Uh, I will be back hopefully on Monday uh, with another video. Thanks again. I am Trace Face. It's how we all face the truth together.